technology. So it comes with, you know, the new era of Kili. So. Uh, but golden forever. I mean, forever oh, golden. Oh, forever, forever. But, you know, every era I've been through is forever, you know. So the new era comes with something new. The sound, there's a shift in the sound and all as well. So, yeah. So how different will the sound be this time? Oh, there's testament with a new song, Liko, from my light to Liko. You know, we're moving into like a different dimension of my artistry, you know. So, yeah, it comes with a different look as well. Ten years down the line, when you look back, every era of Kidi was associated with a particular sound and particular kind of music. So, yeah. There, there is something about this I Light song. And each time I listen to it, there is some sort of emotions attached yeah. to it. It looks like there is an untold story with this song. Each time I listen to it, I feel like, no, something is wrong somewhere. Wrong with who? No, like, <laughs> th there is something that is 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 uncovered mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the Allied song. Mm -hmm. The video, mm -hmm. even your performance at the VGMAs, mm -hmm. and like some there is something yeah each time i listen to it there's some dark surround there is some dark clouding you know what it is because it's an honest song there's not a lot of honest music around you know a lot of the music that we make as artists most of them are fiction you know ideas mm. and you know we want to create something but the honesty in the song is what sometimes makes it uncomfortable for people you know sometimes when you are telling people their truth it sounds quite uncomfortable for them so i think there's an honesty to the song that's why when you hear it you there's something kicking you and telling you mm, there's something there because an honest song is a song about how we have to go about our day two-faced you know sad but we have to smile to the world and do what we have to do and that honesty is what you you term as darkness it's a dark cloud around the song so, mm, yeah. mm. so what were you saying I'm just basically you lied. No, so if I tell you I'm smiling, but I'm dead inside, yeah. and then it followed up with some rumors and some something I term nonsense. And look, yeah. I I don't know whether you listened, but I I got really angry. Yeah. Most, I was more angry than most you. Why? <laughs> I, I I got I got really I got really really angry. I mean I. If you got angry, you can imagine what I I was. So yeah, it's, it's, I don't even want to delve too deep into because it's part of my life. I want to move past, you know. But no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Well, we'll go there, but not yeah. even now. Yeah. Um, so I, I want us to finish with the breakdown of of the song. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. So what were you going through? What inspired this highlight song? So it was me and everybody, basically. <laughs> don't just save me. No, no. I'm saying that because. Um, I, I think people have forgotten that we've been through a pandemic, you know. We lost like almost two years of our lives in that pandemic and things came to a standstill. And I think a lot of people, even after the pandemic, haven't really recovered, you know. They're still like trying to finesse, go through life and stuff. And in that last couple of years, every single person that I've spoken to, everybody, they go through something. You know, in the morning, people put on their clothes, tie a suit, go to work, smile, yes, boss, go home and then... It's back to grieving, you know. So I realized that a lot of people were going through things. A lot of people had on dealt with issues, on healed trauma and, you know, PTSD from a lot of things. And I decided to tap into that emotion that I was feeling personally at that time as well. And, yeah, it's just basically, like I said, it's a song about life, you know, going through life with two two minds. You're sad, but you have to be happy because you cannot show everybody your sadness. Nobody really cares about what you're going through, you know. So you need to come out, smile, do what you have to do, and then move on with your life. And that's basically what the song is about. If I tell you I'm okay, I lied. Somebody asks you, how are you right now? You could say I'm fine, because it's like the automatic response. But deep down, when people are telling you the things they're going through, realize that everybody they go through. At a point in time, you, the, the song goes on, uh, then you hear, if I tell, what was your liver doing in, in, the, in, the, in the song? I mean, for doing this song. yeah, but for somebody <laughs> like Kitty, listen, Kitty. One thing you can never take away from Kitty is is, is uh, your your pen game is not be say day here, but look, <laughs> I I appreciate your pen game so much. There there are just some few singers in 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 fact, you are one of the the one of the musicians that if I hear your, I mean if I hear your song, I need to 
for a minute, I have to be quiet and listen now. Uh, like, wow, what was this guy talking about? Okay. Uh, were you into it, poetry or something? I studied literature in school, to be okay. honest. Yeah, so, um, and you see, there's so many artists in the world. So sometimes I want to use my lyrics to stand out a bit, you know, to not blend into what everybody else is doing. But if you realize, I haven't actually said anywhere or said even in the song that I have a liver problem. <laughs> I haven't actually. Okay. It's all this is people assuming that that's what I meant, but that's not what's actually what I meant. So what were you saying about your liver? So again, in, in literary terms, the concept and theme of the song of people going through things and having to smile, a lot of people have what they deal with, used to deal with when they are going through these things. A lot of people have different copiums. People use drugs, people use alcohol, people use, people use sex. Copiums. People use drugs, people use sex, people use alcohol, people use different things. So in the theme of the song, a lot of people use alcohol. And I was thinking from a person of someone that uses alcohol to cope, that if I show you my liver and you see the amount of alcohol that I've taken, you take me to prayer. You know, and then people just assume that Kiddy said he has a liver problem. then shortly after no before just before the song came Mm -hmm. then the issue of i'm on scrupulous person decided to yeah like i said it's a part of my life that i'm trying to move away from because it was a very uncomfortable time you know for me my family everybody involved because you know okay when when the news broke when first did you hear it? Um, Kobe sent it to me. I. <laughs> what were you doing? I was, I was, I was at home. You know, I was, I was at home, and then he just said, "Have you seen this?" And he said it so casually, like, "Have you seen this?" So Kobe is what your manager? My road manager. Now, okay. Yeah. Like he said, "Have you seen?" It? I was like, "Oh no, I haven't." So I read. I was like, "E." I sat up. I was like, "E." <laughs> so this going on, and in the span of like two minutes, three minutes, my phone started like ringing. Different people were calling everywhere. I was like, "E," like. You know that thing at told me, so I was mm. like, what is going on? I went on social and I was like, is everything okay? And then it was everywhere. I realized that everybody was, I had to turn off my phone. My mom called. I spoke to my mom that morning, but she called again because she wanted to be sure that, ah. I, she had also heard it. Yeah, she also, every, it was everywhere. Like, she wanted to be sure that she spoke to me in the morning. Was I hiding something? I was like, mom, I'm actually okay. Like, there's nothing like that's going on. It's what we know, but not this, you know, so... It was just a very worry for the brands I work with, my family, friends from school. You know, it was it was it was tough. But like I said, it's a part of my life I'm trying to leave. I don't want us to revisit the topic. It's, okay, it's happened. It's gone. Right. So l- l- let me draw that. But no, the the reason I'm I I had to bring it back mm-hmm. is because I took it personal. Same. And on on radio, I didn't spare that blog at all because. I had to make some calls. And I I even advised that look, there must be a legal action I to serve to, I as, as a deterrent to people who just yeah. sit beside their behind their computers and want to write chaff yeah. just yeah. to attract any at any sort of unnecessary attention. I wanted to, when it happened, I, I called Richie. I was like, Richie, how many times or for how long would these things happen and we say and yes, no Ghanaians we like peace. Mm. BBS here, oh, and yes, how how long will we have to keep doing this? You know, because people are taking advantage, obviously, as you can see. There needs to be some course of action, you know. But upon a lot of conversations and stuff, we decide to not feed our energy into it too much. Let's move on from it, you know. So, but were you were you indisposed? Yeah. Okay. But how did people know? How do people know what? That you were indisposed because, yeah, we are, yeah, we are. I mean, you are human. Everyone can get no, sick. No, but it, it came from the fact that I canceled my North American tour and I put out a statement that, you know, I was dealing with a few health issues and I'll be back, you know. This is this is my life. I'll be back to doing music. And that post was out like two, three weeks before that rumor started. So I don't know who decided to go and take that statement. Read that, oh, Kitty has a health, Kitty has a health issue. What could it be? Okay, it's not malaria. It's not this. It's not this. It's this. Let's put it out. Let's go with it. And then boom, it's everywhere. But with that tour, although you cancelled and and mentioned that you were not feeling well, it it didn't happen. The tour didn't happen. Yeah. It didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't. Was it due to true ill health or 
the rumor of oh people didn't purchase tickets oh people didn't attend the event and oh load this load no, that there's 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 a lot of um obviously it's not about ticket it actually had to do with health but there's a lot of nuances that i don't want to go into because you know we know how people might take this so i don't want to go into that just know that i'm back i'm fine we're back to doing what we love you know music is our life music is how we make people happy make ourselves happy so we're back to doing it so that's what it is i like the way you you've bounced back when you hear stuff about you negative stuff mm -hmm. how do you deal with them do you just as you mentioned oh, i call richie i called to be honest eh, in the beginning when i came into the industry it used to be a tough thing for me like me i'm i'm very sensitive you know so when people say you things kidding about, oh yeah oh like ah. Uh, Were well, you know the same guy on social media giving to people left, right, center? No, that is, you know, everybody has a way of coping <laughs> <laughs> and fighting back. <laughs> so that was my way of, you know, like also standing up for myself eventually, like in the beginning. But as time went, like this year, and like I'd, there's been a lot of shift in my mind, like mentally. I'm not even the same person I was in February. Like right now, as I said, there's been a lot of recalibration and rewiring of my mental and my mind and stuff. And now I've reached a place where I'm beginning to understand certain things in life. And I know that when people come on social media and say the things they say, it's not even about me. Some of them are actually unhappy in life. You know, if you're unhappy, you take that unhappiness on anything and everything. So if Kitty comes to post a song, somebody comes and say, and so what? This is not even about Kitty. It's about somebody that is actually unhappy about something that's going on in their life and they are projecting it on anything they see. So I'm coming to, I'm learning to, not take these things personally, not take these things seriously. Not actually having to feed into trolls because when you feed into trolls, you give them more power, you give them more attention. So these days, Charlie, is it Kidi Okay, cool. Let's move on. Yeah. Simple. It doesn't make you happy. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but just as you bounced back, then a surprise, a surprise appearance at the VGMAs. Yeah. To me, Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. When I saw you dancing, yeah. Part, I, saw you dancing. I yeah. when I saw you, I was like, "Oh my God, my boy!" Yeah. My disappointment. Yeah, people were seated like. I, I re when I was on stage, let me tell you what was going through my mind on that stage, because you know that was my first time coming back out after everything that had happened, right? So on the stage, although I was performing, my mind my mind was in two places. I was performing, but half of my mind was looking at the crowd, and I could tell on their faces like, "Hey." Oh, yeah, real. What if? Then they are. So I could tell it on everybody's face, like, and it, it didn't allow them to get into the performance. They were they were very afraid of, hey, what sure. if, what if? And I was like, oh, Charlie, guys, like, but I knew that it would take time for you know everybody to free their minds of the misconceptions that have gone around and then get back to kiddie music. Couldn't you, know? you pause the performance and make a statement? Oh, Something. there be there be there. Charlie, you came for music. Let's dance. No, it's time for talking. You know, I, I, these days I'm going to be talking ah, less. So the musician, that guy that stands on stage, and then you pause the music, hey, hey, start the music, start the music. Then you come and you talk, talk, talk. That guy, what was up? I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know of who you speak of. <laughs> <laughs> Some talkative like that. Hey, oh, he dances, talk, 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 talk. I eh? beg you. Andy, don't put me in hot soup. I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> Listeners, in case you just tuned in, you're listening to Hits 103.9 FM. Kitty is my special guest. The Golden Boy is my. Okay, sorry. The. What? Black Star. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Star. Oh. So it's what? forever Golden Boy, you know, Charlie. Golden Boy, yes. And, 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 and Zane, my Zane was, was disappointed. He was very. Because, so. you know, I told him, I promised him I was going to get him the golden hair. So it's like, now if I've gone back to black, it means I'm not getting him his golden hair. Okay. So he was quite disappointed. And he hasn't seen my face with black hair in a long time. <laughs> so in his mind, he can't register the black hair, you know. <laughs> yeah, but it is what it is. How old is he now? He's six. Yeah. Six. Yeah. So adorable. Yeah, yeah. Very intelligent. Okay. Wow. Okay. So Kitty did I lied. And before that, there was champagne. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. You, you, you are just smashing it. You understand. Just like that. And then you put up a challenge with, with the I lied song. Yeah, an open verse. And you see, that also came from the uh, fact that I knew that lots of people were dealing with their own secret. People are fighting secret battles that if you don't go and ask, you never know. So I was like, let me put this open verse. Let people free their hearts and minds. And some of the things that people said and did on the song, I realized that, mm, Andy, Charlie, 
if for open national therapy center for a lot of people you know like people are people need to you know heal and 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 come to an acceptance and you know deal with their issues i'm reading comments on facebook <clears throat> excuse me and guys we are live on facebook we are on twitter i'm going to today i'll take time and read all of them unless it is unacceptable <laughs> please permit me um original koguda says Senior Andy, kid it take one of mine play while because I was also thinking he was battling with liver disease. Oh, and he tell him to break his literature down because we will end up misquoting <laughs> him. When you're writing, do you think of writing in simple terms so that yeah, to get down to the ordinary listener? Yeah, I do. A lot of half of my songs, they even I lied. The whole song is simple terms. It's just one part of the song that is you know quite open to interpretation. You know so. It is what it is. It's music. Art is open to interpretation mm. by... Frida Japoma says, wow, new look. Shell C says, I really love his songs, Andy. Miss Benny says, he looks good. And Mark Lee says, wow, Andy Dusty Kitty is my music idol, my champ. Um, Samuel Ledud says, Andy Dusty Nim Fifi. Frida Japoma. Oh, no, no, no. Frida Japuma said, I'd love to see him today because it's been a while. Brilliant Cool says, Andy, the FBI journalist. <laughs> <laughs> Someone could join you. Okay. Um, Manuel Michael says, Man like Nana Jamina. You're amazing, bro. Great heights, man. Dion Pause says, Banga Bakope. Richard O'Kenny says, Wow, my superstar has changed. <laughs> Eric Horton says, Kitty, I can see you love Stoneboy. Please, Andy, I would love to meet you one day. Okay. You always make my day big, bro. Oh, thank you. Kobe Morgan says, Stoneboy again, more fire. Jalen Cook says, Sugar Dazzy. <laughs> Richard Dockenny says, Wow, my superstar is back. Evans Danning says, I'm greet greetings. I'm greeting you from Teshi. Big ups to you all. Evans D. Kojo says, I'm glad Kitty is back. I still remember his Sugar, the movie. When is he acting again? Hmm. Do you have any plans of doing that again? Maybe in the near future, to be honest. After that Sugar movie, I came to the conclusion that actors, I clap for them. <laughs> Thumbs up to because, them. Because, hey. Because even on music videos that we don't have, we don't have dialogue and things. We take hours on set and sometimes to the morning. So I can imagine with the script, cut, action. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't easy. But maybe in a future. Were you approached with with scripts by? Yeah, I've I've gotten directors? a few, but I was like, you know what? Let's 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 hold on. <laughs> maybe in the future I'll come back to it. Right now, let me just focus. Well, on was the music. proposal was the cash not too big? It wasn't even all the money. You know, it takes a lot of you know time. You seem to be very comfortable. Oh, about like in life? No, no, cash. Cash. Oh, amen. I receive it. I'm in Jesus. asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. I receive it in Jesus' name. No, you seem very comfortable. God has been good. God has been. I just give a praise to God, to be honest. You are brand ambassador for what, Samsung? Samsung and Fidelity Bank. Fidelity Bank? Yeah. KFC jumped in somewhere yeah, along the, the line. KFC came what along the lines. Um, it was a, a short contract, so it was it's done. Fanice, we did something with Fanice, something with Maggie as well. So, yeah, God has been good. <laughs> <laughs> so, with, 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 with Samsung, all the commercials you shoot, mm -hmm. and then you're on social media and you're displaying day in, day out mm -hmm. every new Samsung mm -hmm. yeah, product. Yeah, yeah. What happens? So, they send it to you and they take them back, or they no, send no, no. them? I, they send them to me. So, how many phones do you have? Oh, I've actually have every time the phone see before the phone reaches my hand. It's a simple question. <laughs> How many do you have? Is every time it reaches my Oh, hand. right now I just have like my S20. We actually just launched and unveiled a new phone yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So I'm yet to get that one, you know. So, yeah. so I have my S23 here and then I have the A24, the A54. But that's what I gave one. How to. many phones do you have? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they said the record. I don't know. I don't know. But before the phone comes, it's it's yeah. Samsung have been, you know, it's amazing, amazing brand, amazing guys to work with. You're, you're a very good brand ambassador. I mean, you're using my platform too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to understand I'm here. Dude. <laughs> uh, if you come to my house, everything is Samsung. Like, my washing machine, TV, sound system. They supplied you all of that? Everything. Samsung. <laughs> Kidding my younger brother here. I was in the world years before he came. <laughs> Samsung. Fly is the camera on me. <laughs> I'm speaking to Samsung. <laughs> Do they have a, a, a branch in Ghana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Samsung branch in Ghana. <laughs> I'm addressing you. 
Look at fine boy like no fine man like me. You don't want to use me. <laughs> Washing machine, I have one. Fine. I don't have TV. <laughs> I want big. I want a big Samsung TV. Amen. The what TV else? Your <laughs> yes, the TV my daughter spoiled it. From your mouth to their ears, they are listening. So. Yeah. yeah, they will be listening. I also put in a good word. So. And I have to take my phone away. I don't like the phone I'm using. <laughs> what is this? Get me a proper Samsung. The new one was it? Was the new S twenty three? S twenty three. I want one. I'm interviewing him for free, and he's using my platform for free. <laughs> for once, I will say Samsung is the best. If you don't bring it, <laughs> you know what follows next. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Um, Jalen Cog says always looking fresh. Um, said, thank God for your life. Keep the fire. Nana Kwesi says, boss, Andy, please tell him we miss him at church. ICGC. He looks good with the black hair, though. Oh, were you going to ICGC? Yeah. Which branch? Um, Christ Temple. Christ Temple. Yeah. But why have you stopped? It's not like I've stopped. Um, but I follow what? the live stream and stuff. On oh, TV. nice. And no, they've moved to a new place that is very far away. So I usually follow the live stream. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Samuel Kweku Cattle says, I'm proud Kitty is back and also see him working with my godfather Stoneboy. And please tell him I'm a big fan of Samsung phones. And just last week, <laughs> I lost my phone. So please tell him to bless me with one phone, please. See, after that Laboni thing, eh, the way Andy have suffered. Which Laboni thing? Um, I went to perform in Laboni High School a couple okay. of weeks ago. And a friend and you came dashed out. Like, oh, I've suffered. <laughs> I've so you gave the, the guy a new phone? A new phone, yeah. I've suffered. I've suffered, but it shall be well. Everybody will get their phone if I had my own way. So, I know, I know, right? <laughs> um, speaking of dashing phone phones and stuff to people, this new alikes, uh, what look alikes, <laughs> I, I saw a skit of one of them, they've out outdoored a kiddie look alike. There's yeah, three or four or five, six of them. I don't know, I don't, I've <laughs> lost count. What are you saying to this look alike thing? <laughs> to be honest, right? I we as artists is is flattering and you know bl blessing to see people who watch you and then they want to be like you. They look at what you're doing, it's like, oh, I want to be like that guy. That's a blessing. And you know, I see it as like, you know, they're having their fun, they make people laugh, and then people it's Ghana make tough. The world is tough. So when you get comic relief, it's actually good. So far as they are not doing anything illegal, you know, it's a bunch of kids having fun, you know. Allow them to have their fun. Yeah. And so until you hear Until you done something them, illegal. It's it's fun and games, you know. So have fun. There was a video hey, how are you? I haven't seen you in a minute. Mm. Yeah. Oh, don't do hey. <laughs> <laughs> No wonder. Mm. Oh, I'm just saying hi. Guys entered. You didn't, even one nearly <laughs> broke a chair next to you, disrupted your interview, you didn't complain. A woman comes to sit next to you and you are there saying, Oh, babe, are you jealous? Oh, come on. He <laughs> dug you. He dug you. Make no mind now. So, the, the guy came on social media mm -hmm. and showed a phone or some pair of sneakers and said, you bought it for them. I have, I have no idea about that. That's what that one did. They were lies. I have no idea. I have not... As I as far as I know, I've not bought anything for anybody. Yeah. So. so all of these things you don't react. What if? What if? Andy, let me ask you a question. React and do what? Okay, Andy, I'm throwing a question back to you. If you pick your phone and you see there's an Andy, does it look like who has set up? I've seen station? them. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing so. They break heads. And what would you do? What would be your reaction? Uh, maybe some. You see somebody go chop slap and you go there. <laughs> Salty. No, but like I said, they they've not done anything illegal. You know, they are having fun. You know, let them. Until a line is crossed, there is no reaction there. You know, so. Mm. Spicy on it says, "Kid is a cool guy and also a well-respected young man. Keep on releasing the bangers. We are here to support." Kim Reason Kwam said, "We love you. Your feature with One God." Nick Boy said, "He should give us a freestyle of his new song, Lake of Stone Boy." 
Papa Papa ke asa he now looks like tick tock. Come accuse this says one of my favorite songs from him is End in Tears. Sandy, please can you play it for me? Okay. You know my favorite is Bad Things. Mm. Why would he? Mm. No, it's the writing. Is throw you short to and say why would it be? No, because it's, it's the writing. Forget the title. It's the writing. Yeah. Kate Andy Ken says, please tell him we need a record with him and Stone Boy. Third one, if they will, <laughs> they come through between Stone Boy and the liquor. Um, Miss Benny said, Brandy, tell him to give me one. Why not? My J4 Plus has suffered. J4 Plus? Which one is that? Do I even know? It's Samsung. <laughs> hey. Samsung, yeah. Hey, wow. Hey, Nana Kwame hey, Senior man. says, I really love this guy and his music. Sugar Daddy to the World, Isaac Alasa said, Charlie Kitty, what does he dear most? What does that mean? Kojo Ainiba says, Sandy, I really like how Kitty is. Hope to meet him one day. Take up boy said, this guy is always on point in everything. Kitty, let me ask you something before I continue with the messages. I mean, every musician has a brand mm -hmm. and what he represents. Mm -hmm. If I'm to mention Kitty, let's say I'm to... I think you know the answer to what you're about to ask. No. <laughs> okay, I'll ask. No. You know, it's it's better for me not to say to ask somebody to what they see when they look at Kiwi. No, so 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 listen to my question before. So what I'm that's asking what the, what is people will say when yeah. What, what I'm asking is if I'm to walk into a business meeting mm -hmm. and I I'm to propose Kitty for a position mm -hmm. or for a deal, mm -hmm. how do I describe Kitty? I'm a cool guy. I'm free spirited, you know. What do you represent? What does your music represent? Represents the beauty of love. Please get closer. Represents the beauty of love, you know, in all its scope, heartbreak, the, the positive, the negative, life, you know, enjoying yourself, having a good time and living life to the fullest, you know. So, yeah. Okay. Your new song is called Liquor. Yeah, yeah. What informs the title? <laughs> Leko. <laughs> anyway, the song is about... I came to... Um, in one of my therapy sessions... I do therapy now, but one of my therapy sessions, I was having a conversation with my therapist, and I came to the conclusion that, really, Andy, there's a lot of people in this life that will live their entire lives and never get to experience love. They will want it, they will search for it, but they will never find it. And there's a few people who will get to actually experience it, and those people are really the lucky ones. That's the whole song. Like, I, what I will give to experience what true love actually is. What's your favorite liquor? I like dark liquor, so. <laughs> <laughs> but these days, I drink beer a lot. Yeah. Beer is my good. Yeah. Why? I just, I don't know, I just... I'm feeling grown, you know. <laughs> oh, what's that? Beer or dark liquor. Dark all day. Yeah. I remember one of our encounters up there. Yeah, yeah, up there, up there. Yeah, we did some dark. Yeah, yeah, we did, dark. we did, we did, we did. Yeah, we did. Dark, dark is good. <laughs> Listeners, let's enjoy liquor from Kitty featuring Stone Boy. All right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's enjoy it.
God. Do you want my honest opinion? Oh, yeah, obviously. I always want honest opinions. I don't like it. Oh, that's fine. That's very fine. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you love it, Andy. I know yeah. you love it. I, I don't like it. it. I, I know you love I it. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. I love it. It's a nice piece, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank and thank it's you. a song we'll use for tins. Oh, yeah, I know. I trust. <laughs> I trust. Oh, I won't talk oh, again. Uh, yeah. I won't talk again. Oh, say, say. Andy, no, no, say, no, no. Say. The way all of them are saying bad things, bad things. What? <laughs> I am saying we'll use it for some things. Uh, something, a song I don't like. How do I use it for bad things? It's something I love. So I use it for something I love. If you're supporting the creative art, you use it to support the creative And uh, what was it, man? <laughs> <laughs> Martinez, please. <laughs> I love it, Charlie. High life, Papa. Pa. Solid. Understand. Getting stone boy, mm -hmm. Charlie. That's huge. You know, when you guys meet, mm -hmm. there's something great, especially come true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still remains one of my Charlie, favorites. Much. A lot Charlie. of people, because of that come true link up, have you know opened their minds to this one, and they're loving it as well. Yeah, it, it shows how huh. versatile you are. Sorry. And I think you try something <laughs> on pop. Pop. Uh, the next time I see next you. Next time I see you, yeah. Yes, funk, yes, yes, yeah, yes, funk, yes. pop, yeah, yeah. So, Charlie, when it comes to your writing skills, like Andy said, yeah. you're on point. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was boring when we heard the news. Very, very, very yeah. um, disturbing. And you heard the bad news, the fake news. Yeah, the bad news. Very, disturbing. very disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> Especially uh, how it was specific mm -hmm. that you have this or you're suffering from this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so... I feel what you are talking about yeah. now, yeah. getting yeah. calls from families yeah. and all of that. Yeah. I mean, we even discussed it. We were extremely worried. So we thought at the point a legal action will be taken. But from the explanation you gave, yeah. I think that's um, understanding yeah. the um, the showbiz part mm -hmm. and, you know, being famous, some of these things, it will come. Mm -hmm. You have to know how you re-strategize a comeback. And you've come back very, very strong. Yeah. I mean, this this is something that yeah. is announcing a very good presence. Mm -hmm. And your performance at the VGM, I agree with Handy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I loved it. Mm -hmm. it. It was a surprise. Mm -hmm. And for me, I was very happy to see you on, on stage, especially how the news came in. Yeah. And finally, when I saw you, I was like, yo, that's great. So um, we can't afford to lose your talents. You won't. It's oh, my yeah. prayer that the Lord keep you. And um, I'm, I'm sure you have a lot to give. When it comes to smooth music... Yeah. You're on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like the answer you gave on the lookalike. Yeah. That since they've no cross action, you're allowing them to have fun. Yeah. So um, that's fine, understandable. Yeah. Just um, keep working very hard. And now that there's Grammy recognition, I would love to see Kiddy win a Grammy. Amen, that's amen. how I end it. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adam? Yeah, uh, lovely. Good to see you back. You've announced your comeback. When I saw you on the VJ stage, I mean, it was. Surprised. So I, I wasn't surprised about the outcome because I knew people would be confused. Is it real? <laughs> they'll try to observe you well and enjoy the music at the same time. And it was that that shock was was part of why people were not so I mean uh, aggressive mm -hmm. when you're performing. I uh, as a news person, I want to understand what went into you staging that 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 platform. Um, so I think around that time I had released I Lied, right? And then I was, the song had been out for like a week. Yeah. So, um, Chatterhouse hit us up like, you know what, it would be great to, if you're, you're back with the new single, it would be great to come out and perform it first time ever in front of the whole of Ghana without watch. I was like, actually a good idea, you know, because we have a new song, we want to make people hear it. So I was like, okay, let's make it work. We did our background, did everything we're supposed to do and boom, we, we made that happen, you know? Yeah. I see. Ah. We write for people, mm -hmm. and at times we, we listen to what people are saying on our side. There is a certain perception out there that it's like the fire from Lynx Entertainment has come down mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. And this is fueled by some rumors that some individuals who are integral mm -hmm. to the success of the camp mm -hmm. have left the place, about three or four people. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you, you, you hear things like that, uh, how do you feel and what, what's the situation? To be honest, right, I'm here to discuss music and kiddies' music for any label 
conversations. I think the best person who is in the best position to reply any label politics is the CEO of Link Entertainment. You get me? So what are you telling the fans? Oh, they should keep supporting us. You get me? We're still putting music. When, when they hear the music, they should jump on, dance, do the challenges and all of that. That's all I'm going to say to them. Okay. Yeah. I think this song is, is really nice. When I yeah. first saw the the flyer that you and Stoneboy, I mean, it, it, it was like, wow. Let me see what will happen because, I mean, two people who can sing well and very, very fine melodious voices, and when they jump on a song at the same time, you 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 can expect nothing. Over sweetness, yeah. e- exactly. But the best. Yeah. This is one song. I mean, you need to push very much, and like we say, good song is not enough. Mm-hmm. This is a very good song. But how you able to yep. market and activate the song? in the various quarters is also very important. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have the product, which mm-hmm. is solid, but the team need to put in a lot of effort to ensure that the necessary awareness mm-hmm. is created, I mean, is created yeah. to have the song get out there. Finally, I mean, some producers and some Ghanaians are, uh, we are things one of them, of the view that, that some producers and musicians are mimicking Nigerians in, in their production among artists. Mm-hmm. I, as an artist, mm-hmm. I didn't see too much issue with that. Mm-hmm. And as an artist, when a producer like that, I mean, comes out to say that musicians like you, uh, not you, mm-hmm. but musicians, are uh, mimicking Nigerians, playing their loops and patterns in their songs, and it's making Ghana music boring and artists. I mean, as an artist, what I, will your I actually haven't be? heard that. I haven't heard him say it, but... I would, I would love to hear it exactly to know the context. Like, I haven't, like he says... Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes a lot of things without context, it yeah. can be. So I would love to hear the context in which that was said to actually have an opinion about yeah. that. You get Is me? that a production-wise? Mm-hmm. I mean, and generally, and even... Some of the singers are trying it's to just, sound It's like just music. Like music is... is, is uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's intercultural, yeah. you know. Somebody... A Ghanaian can do a song and incorporate Indian yeah. flutes, and you can't say you're copying Indian. It's just music. Sometimes you get inspiration from different cultures, different markets. And it's fortunate that Nigerian music is big now. So if you do anything, it's like you've copied them. But there's a lot of intercultural, like they also pick high life. Also, so it's not a thing of somebody has gone to, so it's bad. Hey, sit down, you're not doing well. I think we should free our minds from. We are too serious sometimes. Yes, do what we have to do, but allow the people to enjoy the music as it is as well, you know. So, yeah. That's right. Thank you. Ria? <clears throat> uh, I didn't expect anything less than what he's done right now. I'm just glad that you are okay. Oh, shit. You are fine. <laughs> <laughs> you are fine and you're just bringing out music. You're just doing what you love to do. But there's something there. <laughs> it's a bop, though. We are going to jam to it. So, yeah, that's thank all you, I have to you, say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Okay. Speaking of the Indian thing, you 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 mentioned the in so you went to India. I did. It was such a fun. How um, how many hours? Oh, we spent like it was a lot, like almost twenty hours. Or yeah, twenty hours. Yeah, on a flight. Yeah, but Australia, I spent like twenty. Okay, India was almost not twenty, but Australia, I spent like twenty four hours on a flight. So India, like, I think you did nineteen hours or yeah, something. Yeah, close like that. to yeah. Okay. But not pretty much a pa. <laughs> Sorry, that was really true. I was like, like me, I'll cry. <laughs> you, are never, you are going now. Like, yeah. <laughs> far away, in the okay. ends of the world. W- w- what informed the Indian move? Was it your choice? Was it label? Um, so the song had gained a lot of, you know, traction in India. It was doing amazing. And yeah. this amazing artist, Tusi, who was also, like, one of the big artists there. Hold it, hold it. Before you continue, was it a deliberate attempt to to shift gears and or shift attention to India? Or yeah. it went naturally by its own? No, the song just, it just entered. Okay. We have no idea, like, okay. how it got there. But it entered. I was like, okay, let's capitalize on the fact that the song is big. That, you know, collaborate with somebody who is also doing amazing there. Get the song to get the presence of Kitty in India as well. So that's that's what informed the whole, you know, process and project. And now, yeah. after going to India, mm-hmm. was the expectation met? Yeah. I, I was surprised how Indians knew me. Like, on set, I was like, oh, that's the guy from, you know. and they were That's the pictures. guy from Ghana. <laughs> it, was, it was such, it was heartwarming. Ah, my friends. <laughs> my friends. <laughs> like, the guy from Ghana. They sang like, shut up. And they all like, shut up. They, they waved their hair like that. Like, 
it's like it was such it was so heartwarming you know and oh, wow. to, to have to know that our music is you know traveling you know to the ends of the world and people are appreciating the stuff that we do you know mm. okay uh mr Kla, please quickly oh you're good <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you too? Fine, thank you. The magical song. Maybe. Please speak up. Yeah, I mean, Kiddy has it's got the same microphone the gentleman used. So, <laughs> what's got, happening with Kiddy you? Kiddy has got a formula. Mm -hmm. He's got actually he's got the formula. You know, so he just applied it, and um, if you just run through the song with some little test right now, five things are standing out: melody, rhythm lyrics hook the song itself you feel emotions in the song it came through the voice and you can feel it so i'm not yet listened to the song but by the time you finish you realize that there are so many elements you've not heard the song i have not like i've not listened i've heard the song but I haven't listened do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, they're listening to the song. No, you, no, you have to understand what I'm saying. But who, say, who says I'm not? Uh, <laughs> who said I didn't understand what you're saying? I'm saying, mm -hmm, yes, you. Yeah, I want you to listen. Yeah, listen to the song. Just before that. Listen, the listen, listen. Ah, uh, remix I'm already. <laughs> the other remix I was See that gala <laughs> for another one for my gala. Hey, I know why it's gonna be a gala. So I went to the one with DSL. Which one? Some rip, uh, the, you're asking hey. people to put. Oh, the hey. open verse. Uh, I lied. It was one of my favorite. So who won? Entries. There is no winner, you know. We just <laughs> let people to feed their hearts and mind what they are going through. Won't There's you have no any winner. collaboration? We cannot with them? give a winner because, like, somebody's going through it more than somebody, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, so look at the one who's going through more. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you want to say you, you cried, pa. Let me you are the through. winner. Oh, it's yeah. just, yeah, it's just. Uh, My I, boy, everyone, I, yeah. Please, a quick one. Uh, you know, this, we're all talking about high life. It's, it has some high life elements. I mean, recently, uh, Grammy added high life mm -hmm. to a category. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's, a, that's a big win, you know. What, what do you make of it? Like, this is our music, so to have our music in there as well, that's recognition. And it tells everybody here that you can do what we're doing and still get recognized there. So it is it is amazing. It's a big feat. Mm. You know, yeah. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Abraham, my guy, Mobus. Abraham says, shouts to Kitty. It was nice seeing him at Sky Bar the other time. Blair old boys for life. Mm -hmm. uh, Why is it really good? Uh, uh, our secret locations come to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Come to reveal it just uh, like Adam Lubo says, oh, he says, well, do you know Kitty is multi-talented, good photographer and chef? Hey, really? Hey, wow. Oh, you boy are revealing all my secrets. <laughs> my private, my secret secrets. What, 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 what do you cook? Oh, Indomie, you know, mm. rice water. <laughs> I actually make great breakfast, by the way. So grape. Great mm. breakfast. Uh, that's great. Why great. Don't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, sometimes you said you would want to work with um, BTS. Yes, yes. This, they're doing amazing. In the, the Korean group. Yep, yep, yeah. Wicked, wicked. And wicked. I can imagine the kind of music we'll make. You know, when I enter my R&B bag and mix with my pop bag and add a high life bag, mm, global. You know, yeah. <laughs> I hear, I see are the you vision. working towards it? Yeah, definitely. In due time. In due time. So now what? Are you out of links? Oh, there will be Andy. I'm no, still, just asking. I'm, I'm in links. I'm still in links. Mm. Cuban links? Yes. Cuban links. <laughs> Cuban links. Most of us say Cuban links. <laughs> uh, if you are Chelsea, so I'm happy to have him back and he's doing well. I'll, I pray everything goes well with him. Liquor is cool. Just like come through. We love it. Um, Adriba says, Good morning, Andy. I really love Kitty's new song. Please tell Kitty to dash me one. The phone that they take do Yango, they worry me. Father <laughs> 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 Christmas <laughs> 95 Volunteer says, And he does the talking about honesty. Has he had the privilege to read Ajay Tanan's book? Because his champagne video showed rumors of the book. Hey, this person thing go for power. Did it? No, the champagne video, the concept of Ajit Anand was in the video. And the concept of the video was that he was a respected man of the community and he was going to be honored at some function and they revealed on the screen that he's been cheating and having affairs and stuff. I'm like, why does he link that to the book? Hey, this oh, is a music baby, group. you <laughs> know <laughs> me <laughs> outside. This is just a, <laughs> hey, yeah, this person <laughs> thing go <laughs> far, pal. <laughs> even means my mind not even good there. <laughs> wow. Nia JD says, can you ask him the rationale behind his highlight song? As the lyrics goes, if I tell you, say I'm okay, I lied. That affirms the rumors he wasn't okay. Well, I think you you just tuned in. <laughs> this time, why just, uh, please ask Kitty his current relationship with Sina Soul. Good oh, one. Babe. <laughs> it's a question. Hey, babe. And this question, I said it's, uh, eh, mm. we are friends. He's, he's we are friends. We are friends. <laughs> Nana Kwezi says, how do you call putting people right after a false publication, which caused fear and panic feeding into bad energy? That is the problem. A lot of things are left to chance and it motivates these news mortals and blogs to continue. How do we sanitize the system then, Kitty? Mm. I ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe I'm going to the next question. Or oh, actually waiting for an answer. I don't know how we sanitize them, to be honest. The rot is deep. Mm. Yeah, the rot in that regard is very deep. It needs deep uprooting. And it doesn't take just one person. It takes, like, a whole system to uproot the deep rot. Mm. Yeah. Shall I read every day? Just give us good music. That's all that matters. Give us good music. Continue Only to... how? Only how? Continue to dash us music with my phone. <laughs> Very necessary. Mm. Only how, only how. Star like you said, please, Andy, as, as Kitty how it feels to work with Stoneboy. Kwame said, please tell him we want him to alert Kwame Eugene to give us this same hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> Dollar T. Davis said, this guy by plays two things, they go for their part. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I am not. I am not. Why? What have try you, me. Try what, me. What have you remembered now? I'm not. Ma make, I, we, I, <laughs> make we meet for the whole house. <laughs> you. What I can do for my house? <laughs> where Where do you represent? Which of the rainbow colors do you represent? What I, are you coming to do in my house? I beg. I just the connect. Flash yeah, like that. <laughs> Edwin Sands, sir, please ask Kitty whether he got an inspiration from Victor's Soweto song because the instrumental of his new song has got um, calls from Soweto. Uh, okay. I'm Kofi Stainless. Who name cuts? Who name cuts? Original Kogu, as a senior Andy, I guess Kitty is the R. Kelly of Africa. Much love. Hey. Hey. Sugar. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Charlie, God, now. please. Masana Obinya. I mean, there's two. Which of the? <laughs> which of, <laughs> so ask which of which them you're talking about. <laughs> which of it? Which yeah. Side. 
So which of them? Find out whether it's the musical side of the other or the other <laughs> side. Enjoyment part. Robert Kelly. Charlie, but you've given us it. Too. He gave us enjoyment. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He gave us. You've given us smash. Serious I'm just, smash. In, hits, when I celebrate my ten years in the industry, right? You've not chalked ten years. No, it's at my sixth, seventh year. What? Yeah. It's just. Yeah. I'm still in. I'm still relatively a new cat. I remember. I still remember the day Albert introduced you yeah. to me at Plus Two to Three. Yeah. Yeah. You are the new artist, yeah. Charlie. And that year, now boom. Yeah. Yeah. Superstar. The catalog. By the time we we read some. I said the first time I saw this guy, Amanda GC that introduced him to me on these days. Yeah. How, how was the introduction? As, as Amanda was introducing him to me, he was walking away. I'm like, wait, John, come on for this. <laughs> ah, do I have bored out there? Come on. <laughs> then the guy went, I don't know what, what, what someone told him. Then he rushed back to me. Oh, Mr. Andrews, so I don't see you. He <laughs> let's go like, I can't tell you what, what? <laughs> move, move, move. <laughs> that time he had the Rama out. Um, which song was that? I think no. It ran me. It was that song? Um, it's just the the old era of yeah. the struggling kid, you know. Uh, <laughs> now this time, I think it, it was just just at the just before say you love me. I think yes, this was yeah, just before yeah, say you love yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Charlie, but you you've done really well. Come along, with God yeah. has been good. You know, you've done really really well. And we've not even scratched the surface. Like that's my every morning when I wake up. That's the motivation. <laughs> like vision is what we're trying to get to. So. We're taking it one day at a time, you know. It's not, it's not a race, you know. So, when, when did you release your song order? Two thousand and seventeen. Two thousand and seventeen. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the date? Twenty ninth June. Today. Yeah. No, today no, is twenty seventh. Yeah. We're in July. Oh, was twenty ninth June. June. Yeah. So it's been. I remember exactly what happened that day. What I remember happened? exactly where we premiered the song. I remember exactly who was there, and I'm. Taking that same energy into Leko. I remember everything that is happening with Leko because I'm projecting that this song is going to take over the world. Like, we'll have this conversation again in a few months. Okay. That's a good dream. <clears throat> thank you very much. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm good. Oh, go for that to me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. I'm a DJ too. Yes. I'm sure you have issues. Thank you very much for reminding me. <laughs> Say this small boy. They come back to you. Yes. <laughs> and you, kitty. Okay, let me let me cool down. And when I was in school, I had to do everything. Like everything. So like what? So you are coming to DJ or what? Everything. <laughs> yeah, hey, don't try. <laughs> if I you are Adam they were hala. If I your DJ your DJ in class sucks. <laughs> don't, don't, don't even try that. It's my skin sport. He's uh, the one that's been teaching me. Uh, your DJing is not good. Don't even get close. <laughs> I give you fans an hour tire. Let's enjoy the music, man. I I'm grateful that you came. Thank you for and having look, me, man. Thank you so much. For me, I pray for you. Amen. Amen. I, amen, amen. I, 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 I ask God for his eternal blessings. Amen. I, I pray that God will continue to bless you and make you greater, amen, much amen. more greater amen, than you. Amen. Amen. Charlie. Amen. Prophet one. All yes, evil yes. wiped away your path from your path. Amen. 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 I brought money on my concert. Amen. Yeah. Because Amen. me, I was. Hmm. Charlie, Amen. my I I will always remember you in my prayers. Amen. Amen. You should also remember me. I will. You know what to do. Listen, <laughs> 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 so yeah, that's kitty for you. Keep it tuning in on its one zero three point nine FM.